Hey Jenna, it's Brandy from Brandy Story and I Tarot. Thank you for joining me. I have pulled one card prior to you watching me because these are new. Okay, so this is the advisor. And this is saying it's a symbol for growth, wisdom, inner harmony, and stability, and also guidance. You might wonder, what kind of guidance is this referring to? <laughs> so, <clears throat> It's a cue for you to focus on your inner knowledge pertaining to the experience or situation that is a reoccurring situation. Like what patterns do you keep playing over and over and over because you don't want to face it, right? I know, no offense to Geminis, I have a crap ton of Geminis in my life. My mother is a Gemini. She is never satisfied. My friend is never satisfied. She has bad credit. My mom has bad credit because they they go to the next and 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 don't really deal with the issues. It's a reoccurring issue. Okay, you need to be more tactical and grounded right now. At this time, right now, present. Alright? You're unable to recognize these patterns. You're unable to see them or focus on them. Or from your past mistakes. But you're always quick to act and to advise others. Therefore, when this card shows up, it's an invitation to show compassion and understanding towards others instead of being impulsive and quick to judge. Use your inner knowledge to help and guide to grow through your, your experience instead of forcing them to follow your lead. You know, be present, be observant, be in the moment. Take a look at the situation from another perspective, almost like the hangman. If you feel you're unable to do so, you need to take a step back and allow some time to pass. And only when you achieve the distance, you'll find yourself more peace, more courage, more of everything that you were lacking. And you'll have more patience and learn that patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. I give my customers this lesson all the time. Because I'm Jill of many trades. Many trades. So I'm an assistant <clears throat> at a... A pizza place, a Italian restaurant, and people are like, bah, bah, bah. I'm like, ma'am or sir, patience is a virtue and I'll be right with you. Seriously. Okay, this ain't McDonald's. Alright. <laughs> you need to learn to react accordingly, tactfully, grounded. That's the beginning of your message. Alright, Jim, so I hope you're not angry. I hope you haven't tuned off. Stay with me here. We're going to pull some more energies. I'm going to put this back. Right. So maybe you have a friend that um, is going to help you see those patterns. Right? You need to get more stable, more grounded um, in your life with these decisions that you make. It seems to be about decisions. Having the wisdom to look at those and be like, why is my credit score crappy? What have you been doing? <laughs> why does this situation keep happening? Who are you putting yourself around? What jobs are you accepting? What lovers or uh, relationships are you gravitating towards? We have the masculine. Hello, men, if you're watching. And we have release. Ooh. So really, this is just telling me that maybe you should try to stop being the leader in the, the forefront of every party, of every event, or you have to be the it person. You know, maybe you should um, learn to worry about yourself. How's your finances? How's your home life? How's your job? How are you? How are you inside? Can you clarify for Gemini the masculine and release for me? It's choices, cycles. Releasing those old cycles. I self analyze all the time. I make mistakes, and after the butt hurt, I am able to self analyze those. Ace of Pentacles for Masculine, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, right, mm. 
Nine of Swords underlying the deck. You're very frustrated. Your emotions are overruling you right now for some reason. Over something reoccurring. Obviously. So, you're trying to pull in more money because you've not had enough, right? But you're not looking at how you could. You're not you're not looking at all the possibilities. I do want to see what the masculine's all about. I actually don't really ever pull him. It's time to step forward. You need to learn more, enroll in a course, or learn a new skill, offer your protection to someone rather than just yourself, and improve your health and your vitality and your finances. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So, you've been giving to something that you shouldn't have been giving to. Your uh, spending habits, um, you're not making enough money at work, someone's not pulling their weight, could be your lover, it is a home situation, it's affecting your home, it's affecting your happiness, it's coming, once you, you learn these, um, patterns, okay, once you realize the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Once you come out of that false reality of what you've really been doing, like you may be thinking that your spending habits have been decent, you know, yeah, I just pleasure myself or I take myself out to eat. This is a time not to do that. This right now is a time not to do that. It's a time to cut back on that because it's just placing more burdens and conflict and inner turmoil and stress because you're not able to pay these things on time you're not able to help your lover as much maybe they're pulling all the weight and that really could affect your relationship that could affect your relationship very much so by you always being the frivolous one or the party goer the leader you know and by you not being able to provide, they may be like, hey, man, like, I'm tired of this. And that's going to put you in your head. But it's really just you need to learn these past cycles. No offense to anyone out there. I mean, this really could be vice versa. All right, can you clarify release for me, please? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I mean, you could be trying to start a business, um, Jim, start something, but you're not... You're not wanting to put down the groundwork. You're wanting it to be like, that's not how it works. Like you gotta, you gotta put the work in. You gotta put the work in for the dream. For the dream, baby, for the dream. Release, please, for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. What's these two cards? Eh? The Tower and the Three of Swords. That's a breakup. It's falling under release. The Tower and the Three of Swords is a breakup. Because there's been some false reality here with death. We have the moon and death with release. Release, 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 right? It's something that's going to happen quickly, very quickly. You know, it's going to be like maybe a financial thing, like I was saying here. There's some deception, someone wasn't being completely honest or open. Someone's emotions are everywhere, like kind of happy, happy, sad, sad, sad. And like I said, don't get mad. Put this where it goes. I'm just reading energies. If you need something more personal, you can go down in the description box. I capped them at $30. I don't believe in robbing anyone. Starts at 15, caps at 30. Torientaro84 at gmail.com. So, right, there's a lot of delays. There's endings. Something, boom, that's going to put you in your head. It's going to be very frustrating. Could even be a lot of jealousy over what someone else has gotten. But because you're not looking at your own patterns here.
I'm going to add another deck to clarify these. Clarify the Tower and the Three of Swords, please. To Gemini. Clarify the Tower and the Three of Swords, please. To Gemini, because it looks like a relationship. We have the Empress that flipped out of my hand. And the Eight of Wands. And the Page of Swords. You're needing to quickly figure these patterns out so you can birth a new pattern system, birth a new way of doing things, right? Because anything that sticks takes time. And this person will come back. Once they realize you're trying to change, they will come back, right? They will send messages of passion. You know, you may be traveling. They'll be keeping an eye on you. Right? Watching you learn how to manage those finances with judgment. That's another release. Like, when I pull these cards, they're always sexual. So, like, they do really enjoy you sexually. Okay? But you're trying to get something off the ground. And you're trying to look at your spending habits. And it's going to hit you. We have the priest, which is um, the Hierophant, right? This could be Taurus Libra, Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, whoever you're dealing with. Um, I don't really like to say a whole lot of signs unless they're the prominent ones, okay? So we have a masculine and we have a feminine. There's going to be a separation because of, like, money, home life, jobs. I mean, listen, these, the tower and the three of swords could literally be big things. Or, like I said earlier, I pulled the tower card the other morning and I had a misstep on the treadmill and got flung off. That was, and ripped my pants. That was my tower moment and my five of cups moment. For the day. Okay. But it could literally be like. Loss of a job. Loss of a relationship. And I'm seeing a relationship. Tied to money here. Clarify the moon and death please. Clarify the moon and death. For Gemini. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. Sun, moon and death. Please clarify. Where'd you go? Right, we have the lovers showing up in your reading, falling on the moon and death, the two of wands, the nine of swords, and the moon clarifying the moon. All right, what's on top? The five of pentacles. The situation is tied to money and love, which go hand in hand. Okay, let's not lie. Lack of money and lack of you putting in your own effort really does hinder a relationship if you don't look at your past cycles. You really need to look at your past cycles right now. That's what this all ties to. Because this is really going to hurt you. Okay? You're needing to really make that choice. You know, do you love this person enough to really put in the effort to drop um, how you've been acting, how you've been deceiving yourself or them, and like I said, this could go vice versa. You may be giving this off to someone, right? You know, I don't want to break up with you. I love you, but you got to pull your weight here, okay? You're always spending this money, but not contributing it up here. That's what I'm seeing in this. And there is going to be an argument, and it's gonna it's gonna be a long, long go. But there's love. And there's a start, but there's going to really be some self-reflection, dancing with the light and the dark and realizing your habits, you know, of how you self-pleasure, that's going to make you realize what you need to let go of and really have the strength over your, I just got cold chills, um, your fast acting, um, habits. Okay. 
Woo! Coke shells all over the left side of me. Alright. Can you give me two cards, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about the situation? Two cards for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about the situation, please. There's one. Showing up in your own reading. Communication is key. You gotta speak on it. It shows two heads. Two sides to every story. Someone's outlook. Alright, this one. I'm gonna show the world the real you. Right. Drop those self um, and don't let your past hold you back at the bottom of the deck. Don't let your past um, cycles, uh, spinning habits, uh, relationship tactics hold you back from this one. Okay. You guys are really needing to have a conversation and really face the challenges that are in front of you. Okay, really needing to drop the mask, really needing to um, show your emotions. You know, don't deceive yourself of how you really feel. Really just kind of be vulnerable and speak. Okay, if this um, pertains to you or maybe even your partner, drop a comment down below. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe. Thanks, Jim, and I'll catch you later. Okay.